What is happening everyone, Ronan here from the Republic Players and I don't know whether you heard but the PlayStation 2 is 20 years old this week. Now if that doesn't make you feel old, I don't know what does. But to celebrate that fact, we are going to be talking about why we think it's one of the greatest consoles of all time. If you want to drop any comments, please drop them below. This is Tropcast episode 54. My name is Ronan Fox and let's get on with the show. Okay, guys, everyone do it with me. We bow to Paddy. We bow <laughs> to our glorious leader. <laughs> what is happening, everyone? <laughs> Welcome to Tropcast episode 54. What is happening? We are back. Third week running, Paddy. I don't know, yeah. It's, it's, it's strange. We, ne we nearly didn't make yeah. it. Now there's, there's, now there's m many more of us. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, Pat has made his way back to, the, to home. He's come home. Welcome home, Pat. Welcome home, Pat. <laughs> Welcome back to the home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me back, guys. Um, the real estate, I don't know what's going on with the real estate here, but we got like tiny little screens in the, <laughs> the corners yeah. and here are our, our main man in the middle. But uh, guys, it's good to be back. Um, I'm excited to be back as always with Tropcast. This week is a special week, as you've seen by the intro there. 20 years today. The PS2 was launched. What a console. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later on in our topic of the week. But we will start the show like we always start the show. The What We're Playing section. And amazingly, we have a little soundboard to go along with our <laughs> a little <Nice>. chime. <laughs> so hopefully ho hopefully that comes out all right. Let us know in the comments if it's, that's too it's, loud it's, or too This little. could be a bad idea, lads, because the only person that knows what the soundboard is playing is Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be anything. He could be playing it. I haven't heard it yet. It could be at all. Every time we talk, idiot, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah so let's give it to pat pat's been away for a little little time have you got any gaming in pat welcome uh, back to the show um thanks uh it's good to be back uh i've got a lot of gaming in recently uh at the moment currently i've restarted final fantasy 7 for the ps1 i want to try to get through that before the remake comes out and see what i think of it I haven't heard of that uh one. i haven't uh, <laughs> But uh, so far, I've I've left Midgar again, and uh, really enjoying it. I I love a good turn-based RPG, and this it's as good as it gets, really. And uh, yeah, I've also been playing Yu-Gi-Oh GX Tag Force Evolution for the PS2, which I'm actually really appreciating because I sort of I've gone off Yu-Gi-Oh recently because it's very hard to keep up with all the new cards coming in and out. And this is just back to basics, like fusion monsters is the hardest thing that you will ever have to summon. But uh, yeah, I actually think the setting of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX with it being a schoolyard is possibly the best to actually have for a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And uh, I think the last thing I've been playing is uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z because uh, Season Pass 3 came out and they've mixed it up quite a bit. So it's actually fun to go back in and explore and see what they've mixed up and how that affects the gameplay. So what it was, blah, blah. It, yeah, see how the gameplay works. <laughs> Sweet. Um, any but, uh, new reviews yeah, nice. on the way, Pat? Any any more content coming uh, from you? I'm I'm hoping to get River City Girls out by next weekend, and also I am planning to do a Final Fantasy VII review for the PS1, and then a Yugi GX Tag Force Evolution review for the PS2. Perfect. Um, nice. Great work. Great work, dude. And you have been doing a little bit of acting. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I am an actor. I oh. was in Scythe over the last week, and I had a <laughs> smashing good time. Oh, yes. yes uh, oh, yes. But, uh, oh, yes. Is that's how all actors talk. Oh, yes. That's how we talk all the time, yes. <laughs> when, when <I'm, laughs> but, yeah, uh, great crack, so it is. I 
bloody love acting it's the it keeps me going when i need the motivation so it does yeah. and uh, hopefully i find something soon because currently i have absolutely nothing to do now so but, play uh, video games play video create games content all day for the republic night, players yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little smile came on Paddy's face there. (laughs) (laughs) He's back. We have him. He's back. (laughs) No Um, excuses now. (laughs) So I just want to throw something in there um, before I kind of go around the the table. You mentioned Final Fantasy VII, um, the original. Um, This week, Final Fantasy VII Remake dropped um, out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, my God. It came out of nowhere. (laughs) Um, it, there was a, a Twitter announcement saying you can now go over and play Final Fantasy 7 I've played it, I've completed the demo, who else has, has played it and, and oh, yeah. finished it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's let's kind unusual. of let's, yeah, let's break that one down because it's uh, I have some gripes about it I also have some really um, you know, some there, there's they do some really impressive stuff in it as well so before I start making the, the negative Comments. Who wants to jump in first? Um, I, I'll jump in first. Uh, I was probably one of the big, not not the biggest. I, I was a fairly big skeptic of this game pretty much the entire way through. It's like, I didn't think it was going to come out, John. Yeah, I guess, like, <laughs> all, all, all I didn't think it was going to come out. How more skeptical can you get? There's a pizza online and everything, sure. But um, <laughs> there you go. I was going to say, God no. It's <laughs> well, technically, the full game is not yet. Something, some awful could happen. For some reason, the full game could not come out after this. But Don't I, say I, that. I have a feeling it will. But um, no, it's. I, I, I honestly thought it was fantastic when I played the demo. It, it, it actually blew me away when I saw everywhere from the original, like the the first area of the the, the reactor. When I got to see it all in the glory of yeah. the new graphics, I thought it was. It, it blew me away. And I, my my main problem was I was like, oh, why remake a classic and. Oh, oh, they're changing the fighting system and the blah blah blah. But like, I, I, I've played the Final Fantasy VII fighting system so many times. Uh, it was actually kind of cool to play, it, see the same scenarios play out, but with a different fighting system, which is basically like hack and slash rolling and using. I, I loved that. Now, to be honest, I loved yeah. the fight system, and it reminded me of Fifteen, which I also liked the fight system in Fifteen. Mm. Um, I thought when you actually get used to the fight system, it's a joy to play like you're flicking oh, yeah. tr- from character to character and being able to flick from character and them feeling so different cloud feeling so different to barrett i thought it was a, mm. a pretty unique um aspect to the game if uh if you were to say your absolute favorite part of the demo whether it was gameplay or whatever what would it be it my favorite part of the demo was the boss fight uh 100 yeah. um it's just what, what i loved about it was that I don't know how everyone else's playthrough went. That was it was it was tough. I didn't die, but he had a few moments. He had me at times where I was full. I was like, "Oh, this is it." Uh, luckily, I, I love the whole way that the time kind of stops when you're going to use a potion or something. So you actually do it like you, it stops time, so you can yeah. actually do everything. That was cool. So kept myself going with all the potions I had. But comparing it to fighting that boss in Final Fantasy VII, which is like I could do that in my sleep, like the original. I mean, I could do that in yeah. my sleep but now. But that was so difficult just from changing up the fighting system. Uh, I thought that was really cool. Awesome. Aiden, the, the big fan. Yeah. I, Let us know your thoughts. I was... I'm not 100% sold on the fighting system. I like it. I really enjoy it. Yeah. I worry it gets repetitive in like a 60-hour game. That's fair. Uh, but the moment you flip off the train and you kill two guards... And you pick up a potion and Cloud goes level seven. I was like, oh, they got this game. They just know what they're doing. Yeah. I was just like, every area of it's just beautifully sculpted. Uh, the character model is incredible. Mm. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah the graphics um, are beautiful. Just, uh, and like Final Fantasy VII isn't going to go anywhere. It's always going to be there the way it was. In fact, mm. I found a mod today uh, that lets you play the game on a like a it like completely re- rebalances the game and makes magic better. So like those that game's never going to go away, and people are always going to do things with it. So like I'm very happy to have something new and beautiful to look at. I was never a fan of 15, uh, but the thing I didn't like about 15 was the that near dead state that meant you could always you could never die as long as you could use your potion at the end. And I just this game seems much 
less much more difficult to cheese if that makes any sense so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very positive sweet your favorite aspect of the whole demo uh the fact that you go level seven after you kill the first two opponents <laughs> nice brilliant Hadi. what is well, your for you you never played the original right no, I never, but I played it, but I didn't like it. Um, okay, so it was more like I started the... off playing it, but it, I actually uh, love the fighting system in it. Uh, yeah. Because it changes it up for me. I don't I don't like the the way the original was where you, every time you went up a boss, it was like, you know, like in Pokemon where you roll up on someone, next thing, and you zoom into a fight. Yeah. I like the continuous fighting. You're not, you're not breaking away from what's going on. That's why I think that's actually the big difference. I'd actually probably play through that game now because it doesn't have that system in it. So <clears throat> I, I really enjoyed it. I think I, it, it, it definitely was, makes me want to play it for the story to see what it's all about, to get through it. It's a great story. As long as it doesn't have, yeah, like, as long as it doesn't yeah, have that, that as long as it doesn't have that system in it, I think I'll be, I'll be playing it. I think that's a really nice positive thing as well. Like turn based turns off a lot of people. And the fact that so many new people will get to experience the Final Fantasy seven story makes me really happy. The, yeah. the yeah. graphics and everything exactly, yeah. it looks are unbelievable. Uh, it's, yeah. like the, it's so <laughs> polished. James, after dropping uh, three hundred stars since yeah. we started the show, I just wanted to give him a shout out. And he did, he did, he did say fifteen is underrated, and I, I totally agree. I thought it was an actual, you know, really kind of easy, chilled out game to play. Mm. Um, and mm. I did like the fighting system, and I do see I people's gripes, games. but um, I do, I be, do like that. Can be seen as like, uh, do you know, like I like to be when I'm playing a game, I kind of like to know which direction I'm going. Like I like to be brought into certain directions. I feel like it was doing it. It was telling yeah. you which way you're going. It was oh, showing yeah, yeah, yeah. you the path. It was letting you continue. You weren't walking around going, oh, where am I going? What am I doing? Do you know, I find that in seven, like the original for me, and it was harder to, to figure out what you're doing at the start and figure out well, what was going. It, it could be weird when we see what their version of the world map is like. Is it going to be like seven where it's just like now, like literally it's going to be like in the real game, you're stuck in Midgar for a while and then it's literally like out of nowhere. It's like, now you can go anywhere. Be free, my son. Is that yeah, going to happen yeah. again? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Like know. you'd like to think yeah. so. Um. So... Yeah. When I played the game, I thought it was, or the demo, I thought it was a joy from start to finish. Um, the couple of gripes that I have with it, the voice <coughs> acting and the character interactions with each other, I thought were really, really poor. Um, Barrett and Cloud, I just, I, I didn't really see much, um, you know, good interaction there. Uh, B, uh, Biggs and Wedge, the two uh, main characters that are always in every Final Fantasy, I thought their voice actors were were very poorly done as well. So voice acting for me was a, b a big gripe. Now I know usually with the the you know the the um you know translation into English, can't you can get that? And yeah. Final Fantasy has been known to do that. But I just thought with this game that you could have polished it up a little bit better. Um, but apart from that, I thought the gameplay was amazing. My favorite aspect of the whole demo was hands down the music. I thought it from the the menu screen the whole way through. I thought they just whatever I didn't like about the voice acting, the music made up for everything. Like it was just it blew me away to just as you hear that that kind of intro music at the start, just before you even start the, the demo itself. And then the whole way through it as it guides you through, I just, I thought actually the music was was spot did you, on. Did oh, the original yeah. seven have a shortcut to the, the potions and the, the fighting, you know the way on the different spells you could cast. It was that a totally one had different to, system. It was all made. Yeah. 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 Because oh, yeah. I thought that was a good one that you could press. Was it R one or something? That you could shortcut into what you're doing. I thought that was yeah. great. What people don't realize is it's it's almost the Kingdom Hearts fighting system. Is it <clears throat> another game I haven't played? <laughs> you don't you don't need to if you haven't played it yet. Don't bother. <laughs> I've been heard that before, right? Yeah. Uh, just on Final Fantasy VII there, I read an article recently that's saying that the director of the remake would be very happy to actually finish Final Fantasy VII altogether for the rest of his career. He'd be happy to do that. And that has me worried that the game is going to be, like, maybe finished in the next four generations. <laughs> it's... I don't know, with the demo um, coming out like that, I can see it getting... That, that's an issue as well. Like, coming out. I can't see... A 60 hour game in midgar i honestly can't there's there's a part where you finish the the actual demo and it shows you clips of gameplay and those clips of gameplay looks like there's not really much going on you do see kind of back alleys and streets of midgar but how can they push that out to a 40 or 60 hour game i think for 
you know, for all the, the, the negatives or for all the positives around this game, the one negative for me is that this is not a fully fledged out game when it's uh, when it hits the shelf. I mean, um, a lot a, a lot happens in Midgar. Not maybe not necessarily sixty hours, but like, there's a lot does happen in Midgar. How like, long does um, it take to get by though? Like, realistically, six hours. Oh, six I or seven hours. It in yeah, six hours. So I did. There's also yeah. five sectors we never see. But why do we have to go into those sectors? Like, what I get from the story is you're trying to escape Midgar. You know, you're after blowing up this reactor. You're trying to get out. What's going to make you hang about that town or that city for longer well, than that, you than you should? Well, no, but like, but like all, but like, well, Midgar is like everything with Eris happens in Midgar. True. Uh, the Shinra headquarters at the end. The, the the dressing up as the woman. So much happens in mm. Midgar. There's way more. That's there's fair. Way more That's to, fair. Way more to happen. And I, I think, think even if, even this demo is like um. Even playing through this demo at 45 minutes to an hour long as it takes, like that's probably longer than it would take me to do the opening bit in Final Fantasy VII normally. I can so do it in maybe minutes. again, so that's what I'm saying. So every little, all these little bits from Final Fantasy VII are going to be drawn out, maybe made bigger set pieces like what we've seen with this first demo. Okay, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, because your bosses the... generally only take a couple of minutes in the Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the bosses seem like they're going to be big, epic fights. Yeah. So does yeah. does the bike scene? Is that the end of Midgar? Very end, very yeah. end of Midgar, yeah. Very That'll be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to yeah, seeing yeah. how they do that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty iconic. Um, has anyone been playing anything else apart from? Uh, I suppose I'll jump in just real quick. I started Resident Evil Two once again mm. and um, streamed it. Had one of the best streams I've had in a long time, and I am into the last section of that game. We're in the the nest laboratory underneath the the station, and um, I'm going to clear it. Like sim- simply put, nice. Um, so yeah, nice I might play a little bit of that after. Perfect. So it'll be the first time I ever clear it, and I loved it again from start to finish. Just absolutely brilliant. Um, and then having the you know the people to come in, the viewers to come in and and tell me how to you know do this part and do that part. That made it all the the better. So yeah, that's mm. the, the they were the two games that I really put a lot of time into this week. So yeah, anyone else? Uh, All I was was going to say quickly was not still playing South Park, uh, still playing the Dark Souls Randomizer and still playing Tarkov. I kind of talked about them last week, so nothing really new. Okay. Aiden? Uh, I had my first game of Tarkov. I I, I posted about it in the the, the player's (laughs) page. You got a headshot, Uh, did you? Yeah, the first guy. I would run the corner and I shot a guy in the head. And he, oh, this is great. And uh, I'm the best so at this bad. game. This is easy. Things I don't know what so the boys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, that game it takes no prisoners. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. That'd be a weird uh, add on to the game if you could. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands up. Uh, uh, there's a cage in the hideout. I've got four people in it. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to like, spend all my money and upgrades to my to my hideout? I'm, not, I'm still no. I'm so lost. No, no right. No, no. Here, just, here's just... what you do. You don't play the game and you go watch YouTube videos and then you go play. <laughs> okay, I might do that. There's a good there's a good one on it for uh, for customs that Rona made. There you, there you go. <laughs> Republic of Players yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. On, like, That's all happens, baby. That's the only anyone that's starting the game. That's all I can say is YouTube videos, YouTube videos, YouTube videos, and Pestily or something like that would be great for watching it. Or we could show you the ropes as well. But it's, oh yeah, it's it's definitely definitely a very hard. I'll game show to you. Start. I'll show you John's wall. I'll show you John's corner. John's shelf. <laughs> John's shelf. John's oh, gun. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you all the high, the, all the good spots. But you won't when there's a fire fight going on. You won't see John. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 no, 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 no. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. <laughs> or standing still. If I stand still, they won't see me. Tell you, if there's a firefight, the firefight, they know I'm there. Right? <coughs> did you try it again, Aiden? No, or did uh, I? Just... Not yet. I intended during the weekend when I have time. I just, I, I just. I've had a really busy week, so like, yeah, yeah. Many, I have a couple. All of games I say is, do stuff. keep doing scav runs until you get and just. Yeah, don't jump into the other games yet. Do scav runs and don't upgrade your hideout yet either. Like, just take your time to learn the shooting and learn the like interchange is a good map to start off with. I think anyway, for it's because it's easy to get out of. Okay, I just I was so sad to lose my AK. Yeah, get used right. to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can wait till you walk in gear worth like a million quid or something, then you walk back out and you don't bring your gear with you. You're oh. dead. You get one tap by a scav, <laughs> and then and then you get your insurance back the next day, and it's a mag. <laughs> that you, that you, that you that somewhere. An empty mic. Uh, yeah, and a, and a PP helmet yeah. that you didn't have for three days. And one bullet. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh God, Paddy, what have you yeah. been playing? That's all I've been play- playing either as well. It's just that Escape from Tarkov and the Final Fantasy. I really haven't been playing that much. I played that a couple nights with John, and that's it. I'm not yeah. even gaming that much this week. Damn. It's been a busy, busy week. Yeah, same as that. So <laughs> before we hit news, um, I just want to say that. The new PSN games dropped and they're actually really, really good. Well, one of them is an absolute masterpiece. One of my favorite games of all time, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, I'm going to be streaming that as well. Um, I have it downloaded, ready to go. But the Shadow of the Colossus and Sonic Heroes are the two games. So if you Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces, there you go. How many times has Shadow of the Colossus been out? I don't know. And is I've that never, good? No, and terrible. And I've never played it. I've never played Shadow Colossus. So I'm actually stoked about that. I better download it. It's I unbelievable. The, I have the original John. PS2. I played Ico. I played Ico. I never played. Yeah, Shadow same Classes. developers. Um, yeah. So yeah, the remaster that game for the the PS4, and I haven't played the remastered. So I'm looking forward to jumping in. A gorgeous game. Did so many things that other games never even attempted to try. We're getting and, serious feedback. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody. <laughs> somebody's throwing some feedback this way, alright? Okay, so. <laughs> Let's uh, let's hit news, guys. So we have a little sound beat here for the news. It looks like Stadia has been watching the show. They have been listening and decided it was time Hell to yeah. open a studio for some exclusive titles. They have enlisted the help of PlayStation veteran Shannon Studstill. Uh, get out of the way, fly. Studstill experience <laughs> with PlayStation dates back to the late nineties, where she was executive producer and director of. Um, internal productions at Sony and supervised the inception and growth of God of War studio uh, Sony Santa Monica most recently she was vice president of product development at PlayStation before being brought in by Google to develop Stadia games so at least they are you know they're trying to do what we've always said is is bring those exclusive games and try and get games that are realistically system sellers um, at the moment, you're not going to get a system sold with Destiny 2, when, especially when Destiny 2 is free on most other other consoles um, mm-hmm. and, and, and PC. I think it dropped free on a couple of different uh, different services. So what, what do you guys think of this? I'd say um, they're, not, they're not dripping it out anymore. I th- they, that when I started thinking about it, it's like, I know they probably came to market so quickly. Just to be at, they're probably not even thinking about making a profit for a very long time. So, they, like, if they're doing stuff like this and they're developing a studio, maybe the reason they come out so fast is just to get in the market and get their name out there, so that, you know, people know they're going to develop. Mm-hmm. Like, they need to probably need more help than one person to help them. Like, one studio, I'd say they need, they need a couple to keep get get things off the ground. But it's good to see them trying something new. And if they really want to make be a big player in this, they're going to have to keep doing stuff like that. Definitely. There was, other, there was other Stadia news this week as well, wasn't there? There were lowballing and indie developers. I, I don't know. I didn't see that one. So, oh, I, saw, oh, I heard that. about that. Yeah. yeah, I thought I saw a story where it came out a lot of indie developers were like, yeah, we would love to be on Stadia, but Google isn't offering nearly enough money. It Yeah, it doesn't. It's not affordable for them to do it. It's, it wouldn't pay for them to do it. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's a nasty thing if that happened to indie developers. Like, you think yeah. you did make an exception or have some sort of way of having indies get on it cheaper than your average triple a game yeah. yeah so you see what you see what indies did for like the nintendo switch like that like there's so many good indies and like nintendo really um you know wanted the indies on there so like it was a really good partnership so they probably should have done something like that it, it just gives yourself a bad name if you're trying to lowball people like indie developers and stuff like that so yeah, I think also a big problem with this here now is how they're announcing studios like months after they've already released the product. <laughs> it's it sort of shows that they were not prepared at all. And if this once a studio, if this studio is set up now, or if it's been set up for like a, for a month or two now, anyway, it's still maybe two, three years, even four years before a game might even come from that studio, with how long games are being taken to. Yeah. That's the reason I think that they're doing it slowly. That's why they're probably getting it out before the next generation of console come out. So they're in in the ru- they're in the mix. Do you know what I mean? That's probably yeah. the reason they jumped it out so quick. That's what I'm starting to think anyway, because it didn't it doesn't make sense what they've done, but that's the only thing that kind of makes sense is if they're doing that just to build it over time, have their name build over time, or they could be shooting the load, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> as they say, as, as they, they say, say. As in those movies, I'm not allowed to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the next bit of news, guys, is um, 
We have a Twitter. Is it bot? Was that the a bot? Yeah. Yeah, confirming a new Star Wars game. In February, a Kotaku report said that a planned Star Wars Battlefront spin-off game was in development at Respawn Entertainment had been cancelled in 2019 after its planned launch in the fall of this year was delayed and EA management decided that it didn't want to wait. The bright side of the report was that two new Star Wars games are reportedly still in development. One, a sequel to the great Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order at Respawn, and the other, a smaller, more unusual game at EA Motive. Uh, the second project has now apparently leaked courtesy of PSN releases. A Twitter bot account that reports on new PS4 releases. The tweet doesn't reveal anything about Maverick or Project Maverick, which its, uh, which its code name is. Maybe beyond the title, but the attached image shows a flight of x-wings approaching a star destroyer in the midst of what appears to be an asteroid field or or something along those lines so we are getting more star wars games from ea Um, i'm happy about this i to be honest with you loved uh, battlefront 2 i still play battlefront 2 fairly regular even though it had a terrible launch star wars jedi fallen order again a brilliant brilliant game and this one looks like it's going to be more you know uh, space space fighting and that's yeah. uh, that's good with me. I love this so much. I'm really happy they're making more X-Wing. Yeah. Uh, I... Has anyone played Battle for Naboo? Yeah. yeah I have, that's yeah. a fantastic game, and I would love more games like that. They made a, That was a really great story-based Star Wars like, vehicle game. I yeah. really want more of those. No, I think in the past, like in the last maybe, what, two years, EA has kind of seen, right, this license is coming to an end. Let's try and create some some really good games here. Um, it doesn't really say whether it's online or offline or a single player or not. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So we'll be keeping an eye on Project Maverick and and its developments, and we'll try and get some uh, some news from maybe the inside. So um, any, the anyone big, excited for just the, yeah? Just on the thing off that with like. Uh, EA have cancelled two or three Star Wars games now and even the Star Wars games that they cancelled that was never even announced to the public I'm worried that Maverick could very much suffer the same fate um, the no, only like... thing I'll say Pat is I actually think they're going to go along the route of um, using a lot of the Battlefront 2 mechanics um you know the flying mechanics and create something that's just totally flying because i don't know whether you played any of the the flying uh maps in battlefront 2 but it, they are quality like each each um each spaceship controls completely different so with an x-wing it's inverted controls with a tie fighter it's non-inverted i think it works really well and the first kind of experience i had with battlefront 2 was using an x-wing and i still have the clip where i kind of uh, go through a star destroyer and blow up a tie fighter and it's just insane like it's the graphics in those games we know ea can deliver on graphics so hopefully they'll bring us something that's you know that's unique and compelling at the same time and uh, hopefully it doesn't get cancelled like you said they've done a great job with battlefront 2 over the years like i they was, have. Of, yeah. I was yeah. like really mad when it first came out but god they've same. really really done a good job to it it is a quality, quality game now. Um, you can pick it up for absolutely nothing. They, they're still releasing content with it as well. Like it's, it really does have a, a mountain of content, and you could probably pick it up for less than a tenner. So definitely would recommend picking that one up now. It is the best really way. Nice apology. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. It, it is like the best way to apologize for a game like that because like just kind of just silently work on it and keep just releasing stuff for it longer than you probably would have but it's exactly what like uh no man's sky did just yeah, all yeah. the free updates stuff they did and like that that's really turned this reputation around as well like so it's just a good it's a good strategy just work uh and be like sorry and then just keep releasing stuff and be like here we go this is this is kind of what we have to do for you your turn anthem <laughs> <laughs> um so this is another. We're going to call it Paddy section. Back into the mobile gaming, Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> so Pokemon Go is about to get a lot more competitive. Today, developer developer Niantic announced the launch of season one of the Go Battle League, which is exactly what it sounds like—a global battle competition where trainers can battle each other to earn in-game rewards. 
A pre-season for the competition kicked off in January, but the full debut season will start on March the 13th and last through to the beginning of May. Here's the basic concept. So during Go Battle League Season 1, trainers will be paired up against similarly, similarly ranked competitors through an online matchmaking system. The league's format will rotate between the three leagues, the Great League, the Ultra League and the Master League. As trainers win battles, they climb the rankings, with each new rank offering an opportunity to earn wider, a wider variety of um, rewards. This is pretty cool that this game is still, yeah. still massive. I'm still Who, popular, yeah. So, are it's we going to enter there. this league, guys? Oh yeah, with my <laughs> level one character with my pity. Like, I've never once <laughs> played it, to be honest with you. My least favorite aspect of the game, the battling. Is it? <laughs> oh, I think it's the worst aspect of the game. I have never. What's I the never good tried, aspect? When I, when I was playing it, it didn't. Um, the community. It didn't have yeah, the battle. The community. <laughs> Hanging out with people at the courthouse and they're killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As as you're not in court. Yeah. I think it, I think it, Mullingar, <laughs> I think it Mullingar like is a rare Pokemon in, in the park. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, that's just someone sleeping there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> there's, a, there's a haunter in my backyard, lads. I'm spooked. <laughs> Pidgey, 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 Pidgey. <laughs> I think that's it's pretty cool that they're they're trying no, something like this to bring it. I, the people that are probably interested in a true battle. There probably is people out there that, that are stuck, they're mad into it and been collecting for the last couple of years. Yeah. And like this is, this is a good aspect of it. When I was playing, I didn't have the battle system in it, and I probably like the battle against other people. I think you just only battle against Pokemon or a battle. You know, if you went to the gyms, gyms you could play yeah. against their, yeah. against their Pokemon. That was the only time it was there. It's good that they're trying to keep up with the curve. Keep like it up. Like raids and everything. It's like raids and everything. Really in the game. Yeah. How many Pokemon's in it now? Like, how many Pokemon is there all like in Pokemon? I think there's four generations. Oh, in Pokemon, there's is it just it's in the nine hundred or just maybe over the thousand? Just, just nine hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, I, I don't know. If, just, I don't it's know. Just, if it's just it's just easy. Yeah. Roll, they all roll off right off the tug. Yeah, yeah, yeah nine hundred. <laughs> it's like you gotta catch them all. <laughs> gotta catch them all. <laughs> More there's chance. About, there's about half of that in Pokemon Go at this stage. Is there? Uh. It must so be a full time job just making Pokemon to put into that game. <laughs> like, Have you seen some of them? Like, one of them is literally an ice cream, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What's it <laughs> called? They, 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 I, I'm icy. I'm like, um, <laughs> like, they're, they're looking around the room icy. and just seeing icy. objects. Ice at you. <laughs> I've, I've got my new, I've got my new Pokemon right here, lads. It's a little dot, right? Ah, oh, look at that. Closer. Smack a little, smack a little face on that. You you joke, but there is a teacup Pokemon. Cup of chew. Of course there is. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised that there's a teacup. The game was just just salt yeah. shaker. Salt Last shaker. Game. Go. <laughs> Paddy, <laughs> salt, Paddy says salt. there's eight hundred and ninety. Paddy in the chat now, not oh, our glorious Jesus. leader in the middle. <laughs> so I can't see the chat. From mobile gaming to PC gaming, guys, Microsoft has brought the original Halo campaign to Windows PCs this week. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary has been remastered with 4K support for PC, and it arrives 18 years after the game debuted as a launch title for the original Xbox. Microsoft is also including 60 frames uh, frames per second support, uh, variable frame rates, and even native keyboard and mouse support. You'll also be able to use the classic audio in multiplayer and customize Spartans further. So who is gonna pick this thing up? I Am I wrong, but is this not, was this not out already on Xbox Game Pass, no? Uh, it's the I, same I thing. Know. It's the same thing. Yeah. So they this is have... this is a Steam announcement, am I right? Yes. Yeah, no, it, yeah. they, they both come out at the same time. Okay. The Master Chief Collection is out, yeah. and you can it's on Game Pass, or you can buy it on Steam, and okay. they're releasing the games in canon order. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's why you can only play. It. So the first one is Reach, is it? Is that the first yes, one you can Reach play? Is the first one. So what is this? Just another. Uh, this is another FPS, yeah. First person shooter. Yeah. This is the first Halo. No, the one that's releasing now. Okay, okay, yeah. that's the first one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I cannot It'd be wait interesting to, get to play it. Scared by the <laughs> flood again. The flood, yeah. That's good. Combat uh, Evolved is good. I played the first one. The, the first level that you meet the flood is one of my favorite levels. I have to agree with you there, Aiden. Um, one and two were my favorite. Uh, like, I played one and two and absolutely loved them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll play that. It's the very first level now, I could be wrong, but you just land on the. What's the, the planet called? Well, the first level is escaping from the Pillar of Autumn, the big spaceship. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
And then you land on the halo itself. The halo, yeah. And then you're on. You can drive around. I'm pretty sure pretty yeah. early on. And my God, they got they got first person shooter vehicle controls right. Yes, they did. They perfected yeah. it. You've got great memories. Jesus, long time since I played that game. I love the first Halo. I've, I've, yeah. the amount of multiplayer we played of that game when it was out was insane. Yeah, that was it was a very massive multiplayer game. Yeah. Like everyone even talks like they go back to like Ninja or something. That's where they all started. Is like Halo. I remember throwing like land cables from different house to house to do split swing uh, to do system link games and stuff. It was great. Jesus, in Donegal, I thought you just had the cup in a string. I didn't know you had that. <laughs> 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 What are you at? I was trying to play in Halo. Kicked up the winner. <laughs> so Square Enix in the news again. So Square Enix today released a brand new trailer for Trails of Mana, a full high definition remake of the third entry in the classic Mana, Mana series. Launching on April 24th, the game will bring the beloved story and characters to the modern era um, with real combat Real-time combat, beautiful 3D graphics, and updated gameplay. And we actually have a trailer, and we're going to let it rock here. The sword lies in the roots of the mana tree, waiting. We are searching for the elementals that reside near the mana stones of the world. Eight mana stones exist in the world. You will find the elemental spirits of each stone living nearby. Thank you, your majesty. We will find the stones. You can call me Hawkeye. I suppose you'll do. What? What's that? It's a mana stone. This is the first one I've ever seen in person, too! Take this! Lightstone is guarded by the elemental Lumina. See if you may borrow his light powers. That was our first trailer of 
<laughs> of the night that went on for a little bit too long, so we said we put it short. <laughs> most of our first trailer. I hope he's enjoying most of the trailer. Yeah, so originally released in Japan and Seiken Densetsu 3 in 1995, Trials of Mana immerses players in an unforgettable adventure filled with exciting gameplay, memorable heroes and villains. Players will craft varying experiences by selecting a party of three from six unique characters as they embark on the adventure of a lifetime, upgrading their characters' classes into more power forms, learning over 300 different abilities and discovering a world of secrets and mysteries to explore. Jeez, that's nearly as long as a trailer. Would you have a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I said characters about six times throughout that. It's like characters, classes, Who classes. Wrote this shit? <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell that was added last minute, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> Doesn't look last minute at all. So moving on to hey, something what? a little bit more exciting for me personally. We're not even going to talk about it. We're talking about it enough. You've I've, seen the trailer. You've seen I'll the trailer. Be <laughs> you've I seen half of the game with that trailer. trailer. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the whole game in that trailer. <laughs> we we have some massive news, guys. Whether you like it or not, HBO are getting a Last of Us series. According to THR, Druckmann will be involved in the creation of the HBO The Last of Us series. This is a rarity for video game adaptions as the game creators are not usually direct directly involved with the adaption process of their games. Druckmann and Mazin will write and adapt. I think that is very, very awesome. exciting. Yeah, awesome. I, I honestly think that is really, really good news. Um, to be able to to explore that world even further, even if it's not about Joel and Ellie, I actually hope it's not. I have actually hope it tells a different story. Maybe you know, whoa, go into whoa, how whoa. to. No, no, well, no. <laughs> come, <laughs> come on now. Wait, <laughs> you have to have ten minutes. I, that's what I watch it for. No, I don't. It is this. a Joel and Ellie TV series. I would honestly, I would honestly be, you know, I'd be okay if they said Joel and Ellie. It's not about their story. It's about maybe the fireflies. It's maybe it's about how the, you know, how it was created, how it spread. Maybe it's at the start of the infection, you know, because we get to see, we get to see it at the start, and then there's that gap. I'm kind of so, breaking my heart here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's never good. Like, uh, yeah, okay. That's that's just I my opinion. Actually, what do you think? Uh, I think a good idea for it might be to actually cover the years of Joe's life that are skipped. Yeah, that could be a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Something yeah, I think, new, and it's not rehashing the game at all. I think they should just rehash the game. Oh God, <laughs> I, I hope watch not. It on the screen. I hope they do. That's what I want. No way. That's, there's yeah. a lot of people there. Like, there's a lot of people there that haven't played the game. Like, uh, if you go with the Witcher series or something like that there, like, that's a good... Uh, people that I haven't played the Witcher series, but I watched this, the TV show, and I had never seen it. And, and you said it's kind of a direct adaptation of it, and you all like it. So, like, it works. Yeah. Do you know that's what I mean? Point. It, yeah, it opens point. up people to the, to the world that haven't played the game, that don't play games, that are just be interested. It's not an adaptation show. of the I mean, games, though. It's adaptation of the, the books. books. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, that's all right. No, no, no. No, that's not, like, it's... You know, that's 100% if, like, you know, some people would love, like, a total just, you know, one-to-one, but I would like to just explore the world even further and, you Do know, the, maybe... The Last of Us have comic books written? Mm. No. That's a good question. I don't think, I don't think so. Think so. I, don't, I don't know if that's the answer to that. It'd be kind of be a good idea, wouldn't it, Furt? If that's, yeah. like, if you if we really wanted to explore the whole world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much like the Walking <laughs> like, Dead comic books, which are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Robert Kirkman on it, that'd be class. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be cool. I can say it. I can say it's gonna be a hot series. But even if they did do it, where they went in, as Pat said, like they went back to the years that you didn't see. But that I always thought that they could bring a game out for that if they wanted to, like a a prequel or whatever like that. If they like, obviously they can leave that open too. So that that could be a good idea. What Pat was saying. Yeah. Either or. I'm just happy. Like, I love the last of us, so I'm happy yeah. to whatever they, whatever they bring out. I think the big news here is that Druckmann is involved as well. Like, like yeah. we said, yeah. like, this is this is a rare thing in video games, and to have the guy that you know wrote the the the, the original and um is you know hugely involved with the second one to have him come on and to do a TV show, I think you know he's going to do it justice. Like bringing somebody else in and try to capture that same atmosphere and the same kind of story and the same feeling of um honestly the games just are like they invoke dread the whole way through and then you get these moments of 
you know, release yeah. where you, you see the giraffes or there's moments where you're like, oh, I can breathe now for a second. And then it's back to the dread and the fear. I yeah. I love that, to be honest. Like, I just... That's I, that great. That game is great as storytelling. That is what yeah. that game is great for. Like, that's yeah. unbelievable. You're, you're pulled into that world and, like, that's why I love it. <clears throat> it's definitely, it's, I, can't, I can't wait for the second one. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great to see things like. Sorry, Ed, you weren't. No, oh, well, I was going to say. I hope this opens up the door for the gritty Jack and Daxter TV series that you get made. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> if Naughty, Naughty Dog are now in the talks with HBO. Uh, so, all I was going to say was that it, it's 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 nice to see stuff like this and just the way things are going, where the games companies just going up and up and up, like gaming in general, in the public consciousness, said more and more people are into gaming that will be making movies like it's just it's just good to see that instead of going for the quick buck and stuff well hopefully but we haven't seen this yet but like getting yeah. the real people on board and the people who wrote it on board and all that shows that they want to put care and they want to keep its original tone and stuff and, and it's just the way that gaming is getting bigger and more people like gaming it's just it it's kinda, like even the media like this it, it will go to go to show that gaming like development stuff is an art form as well like that's mm. a lot of the, like if it goes to towards showing it on TVs or movies and stuff like that that will lead the public to let to believe that it is an art form, which it should be known as, I think, anyway. Especially the, the storytelling that goes on in games. It's probably <clears> fair <throat> to say that the likes of the streaming services like like Netflix and HBO, like uh, th- these kind of high quality TV shows have really brought kind of the gaming scene forward <coughs> in terms of, you know, um, TV show adaptations of them. Like The Witcher is an amazing show. Like yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Like there's some so many episodes in that, especially the one where he's he um he's down kind of in the the catacombs and he's fighting that monster. That's yeah, the that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the best series, the best episodes in that whole series. I loved it yeah, from start it to finish. And um, we're getting we've rumors that there's a Resident Evil series coming out, um, <clears throat> and now the rumor of the Last of Us series, like. I'm TV. very, very comfortable with HBO doing it. The HBO, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Some serious TV shows. Yeah. Unbelievable. Every time you watch it, like, the was The Wire was on it. Uh, yeah. Sopranos yeah. is on it. Game of Thrones. Like, just Game of Thrones. Just War Walking Empire. Unbelievable Walking TV Walking. shows. And I'm very happy that they the got The Walking it. Dead. Well, I don't really like Walking Dead, but... <laughs> First two seasons. I'd like... Good. I'd love to shout out Castlevania as well, because... Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That is... Sorry, that, that's not in the news, but that, Castlevania and the Symphony is on mobile now. It came out today. I think. Oh, yeah, I think season three is out tomorrow. Yeah, it's out, mm. oh, yeah, Pat was saying that earlier. I forgot, about I think that. it's actually out today, is it not? Ooh, I want to watch that this weekend. Uh, I love that show. <laughs> Shout out to Seamus again and Ross with the, the star, Seamus with the 100 stars, Ross with the 45 stars. Very much appreciated, guys. Um, and we'll, my interests are working out well, so I'm not really able to keep up the chat, so I'm sorry. Yeah, we will, <laughs> uh, we will just keep it moving here. Um, because we still Ross have our top- break at work. We still are, have our topic of the week to get to. So, uh, just on a little bit of uh, serious news on Tuesday, the American Psychological Association, the leading scientific and professional organization of its kind in the United States, um, reaffirmed its position on violence in video games. Uh, they quote they said that there is insufficient scientific evidence to support a casual link between violent video games and violent behavior. It said in a news release, the statement uh, reasserts a, a resolution made in 2015 and was based on a review of the most recent literature on the subject. Violence is a complex social problem that likely stems from many factors that warrant attention from researchers, policymakers and the public, said APA President Sandra L. Shulman. That sounds like a boss from Tarkov. Um, <laughs> attributed <Shulman>. violence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sherman. Attributing violence to video gaming is not scientifically sound and draws attention away from other factors such as a history of violence, which we know from research is a major predictor of future violence. So again, they're trying to hammer home that it's not connected with violence, which is, it's great to hear, like, do you know what I mean? It it would be a lot different if... This is probably... Yeah, go on. This is probably coming from, like, the elections in America and... A lot of people saying, you know, the likes of Trump and stuff that's sticking up for gun laws and shit like that and saying, oh, it's the, it's the video game's fault. It's yeah. this fault. It's that fault. It's not our laws. This is probably where it's coming from. And it's it's good to see someone releasing, not that they listen to this anyway, but like it's good to see somebody sticking up and saying it could be something else. You know, it might not be just yeah. the, the mediums and the stuff like that that's making people do this. This lad read a book and there was a killing in it. So he went and killed someone. Come on. Come on. Now. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, it doesn't happen like it, that. It, and, and games should be seen like that, too. 
Yeah, exactly. It's like it, 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 like, like you made, kind of made the, the comparison there, but like 200 years ago when people were like, just uh, Timmy, he's after reading this new thing. 200 is probably the wrong year, but when, when, I don't know when books came out. <laughs> <laughs> Back <laughs> then. The Bible? No, I just... yeah, that's true, actually. Books have been like, a lot longer than 200 years. I knew it was wrong by the time. Parchment? <laughs> Bring in the oh, facts. <laughs> Uh, Two loaves. What are you on about? Let, <laughs> oh. Have you seen? Have you seen Joe, Joe, Joseph? Uh, he's there with. The, he's got these new thing. A, a, a little piece of paper. It's got words on it. Oh, I, I told. It says some very nasty things. I think he's going to get violent after that. Like, it's just <laughs> every, I think every medium goes through. A television went through. And I say a radio probably went through it. It's just. It's just madness yeah. for a while. V- VR, VR be next. VR. I tell, yeah, like, oh, because yeah, because VR, you're in the game, so you're basically you're doing the, the you're doing the murder, and then about twenty years later or ten years later, they're like, actually, that no, makes no difference. Or unless maybe VR does. Who knows? It's a new no. medium. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with everything else. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we could say that for a lot of things, but I'm not even going to get into it. Um, so <laughs> the, the next... <laughs> What's a podcast for, Ronan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. this. <laughs> I'll talk about it some other time. But no, we're supposed to. No, I, I, was, I was going to bring up a, a previous topic that we had, but I'm not even going to bother. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So the next bit of news is a is a good piece of news. So Sucker Punch announced today that the long awaited Ghost of uh, Sh- let me get this right Tsushima will come to PS4 on the 26th of June. Let's check out the story trailer before we hit topic of the week. Is that the, um, is that the way you pronounce that? Tsushima, yeah, it's a silent <laughs> I would say team. It is, yeah. I would say Tsushima. No, Tsushima. Yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, hold on to your horses. This is a unbelievable trailer. With a highly anticipated game. Let's uh, let's see. I left my horse outside. King, when we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. There must be thousands of them. Just when I got away from Tarkov a little bit. Face death and defend our home. survivors I am samurai no you are more than that you are the ghost convince your people to join me and I will give them peace we will never serve you I've never seen a samurai fight like that it was nothing oh, oh, you are more than a samurai He is a vengeful spirit, back from the grave to slaughter the Mongols. If you continue down this path, you will be no better than the Mongols. I trained you to fight with honor. Honor died on the beach. The Khan deserves to suffer. Everything from my home. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Ghost of Shoot. Oh my god, I need to get this right. 
Sushima. Sushima. Yes. Stop with the tea. I keep trying to add the tea in there. It's um all you have to think is, where's my sushi, ma? <laughs> where's my <this> sushi? <laughs> That's how I remember it from now on. Where's my sushi, ma? It's out next year. Yeah. 26th of June. Hey. Where's my sushi, ma? Okay. So we have, a new, we have a new section, guys. Paddy is going to explain huh? what it is, what it's called. Let's hear it, Paddy. Fantastic. What did I say it was called? I don't John, believe it. it. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What we're gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to going to call out five games since since it's the the week of the PlayStation since it's his birthday, twenty years old. It's only a pop. Sure, John is like twenty, aren't you, John? No, That's Pat's it, John. twenty. Who's twenty here? John, Pat, Aiden? No, 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 we don't know. We're John, get over no, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. <laughs> don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Wait, wait. I'm I'm performing the quiz. I'm taking over. I'm hosting. Ronan, get out of the screen. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's right I've got five. I've got five games here now, right? And you're going to have to now. Every one of these have, is obviously in the millions. <laughs> right. Well, don't, tell don't us. Be giving, don't be giving me like. Don't be giving me like ten or twenty. <laughs> right. Uh, these are all places. No googling. I'm no watching Google, all yeah. of no, They don't have the internet see. power for Google. <laughs> there you go. We can see. That's how podcasts work. We can see. <laughs> we'll know. We'll know if they they start lagging out that they're googling. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That's so whoever it. gets to the, whoever gets the closest number will win. I I'll pick you. Right. So we have the first one is WWF SmackDown Two. Know your role. Okay. Aiden, give us a guess. How many did it sell in its lifetime? Three point four million. Okay. Pat. Uh, Two point eight million. John. 3.5 million. And your man there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go 6 million. Okay. The winner is Aiden. The closest. <laughs> it, it sold 3.2 million. Oh, you're pretty close. Nice you're pretty, pretty close. close. Okay, here's a big game. And I'm kind of surprised. So, okay. Bully. We'll go Ooh. the opposite way around. Ronan, first. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh, God. Nine million? John? Oh, God. I, I have no idea. Um, eight million. Pat? I'll go 3.5. Yeah, Six. Over a classic. Who, who who guessed the lowest? Not me anyway. I said eight. Or I said nine. Pat, I it sold 1.5 million. Wow. That's shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm off by 2 million, but I'll take the win. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, Tekken 5. Uh, John. Tekken 5, I'm going to say 2.3 million. Aiden. Anyone in the comments, you can guess as well as you go along. 2.9 Roll 3.5 Pat I'm going to go 4.1 <laughs> I think Pat gets it again 6 million Ooh, yeah, ooh. That's a spicy game That's a nice Okay We have two, we have two more We have two more nice Pat's winning by two points Two points Pat pa. I, I, I can still draw it up If I win these two <laughs> <laughs> okay. get, your, get your Google okay, here's on one, Here's one that's going to be mentioned today God of War Ronan which one, PS4, like, remake or the original God of War? No, for PlayStation 2. It's all PlayStation okay. 2 games. So oh, yeah, true. That's, true. that's true. That's true. So the last true. game was 6 million. God of War, I would think. Um, I'm going to go 7.5. God of War. Hmm. 7.5. 4. John? 6 million. Pat? 8.5.2. Okay. What did you say, Aiden? Four. That's confusing. Okay, it's four point six. I win. I think. Oh wait, win. no. Oh, oh wait, no. We're even. <laughs> is that <laughs> your five point two? Half a point each. Is it? Half a point each. <laughs> Half a point each. Yeah. The last one. The last one. And I'll give it a little way. This is the best-selling game on PlayStation Two. Okay. Grand Iron Theft Auto Iron. San Andreas, best-selling game on PlayStation Two. What was it? Ronan. It's 
It's got to be past 10, hasn't it? That's what I'm thinking. 12 million. That was that was literally my guess, but I'm going to guess something else, obviously. Pass. Um, yeah. I'm going to guess... I'll go 19 million. Ooh! Ooh. John. I don't know. Now I don't know what to do. Um, I want to go with... 12.1. Uh, <laughs> I was tempted, but I'm going to, because the pass number was so high, I'm going to go with 14. 14 it throws million. you off. It's like poker. <laughs> Aiden, million. I think it's between you and Pat to win, isn't it? So yeah, uh, oh, no, if, if I get this, one, if I get this point, we're completely even. Okay, uh, thirty million. Thirty million. Okay, yeah. Pat wins seventeen point three three million. Woo! So got okay, Pat, you are the winner. Well done. You get absolutely nothing. <laughs> get some abuse. I'm going to send you some text there. You're going to get some abuse. What's the game you called, Pat? Win some quality abuse. Lovely. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, just tune well, in next week to see who wins. <laughs> absolutely nothing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Abusive messages. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, I'm going to miss those abusive messages. You got them there. So you guys, guys we you get them anyway. Don't worry. I like that Damn game. It. We could definitely do that game every week. I'm shocked that that's the most that any game sold in the PS2. I was sure there'd been more. It's a pretty high I, number. I don't though, think in it's fairness. that shocking. Bully was fair low. I, I, like, I don't. Yeah. Have, I don't know. It's more of a cult classic these days. But Bully surprised me by how low. It was. Yeah, it's very low. A Rockstar game. Yeah. A, a Rockstar game with a lot of publicity at the time. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does say it. It was shocking to me as well when I read it. It was like, "Whoa, this is." And then I tried to. I maybe thought I was wrong, so I started cross back at it. You were pressing the button there. They didn't even hear that. Roll. <laughs> <It's just, laughs> like, eh, eh. um, so we are moving on to our. As well. We are yeah, exactly. Thanks, thanks to everyone in the community. So we are moving on to our topic of the week. The topic of the week is ten reasons why the PlayStation Two rocked. Okay, so we're going to go in, we're going to do these kind of systematically. We're all going to have a go of, of reading them out and uh, and discussing. So I'll go first. The PS2 over its lifetime had 3,874 titles and sold 1.5 billion copies. That is yeah. ridiculous. Who wants yeah, to go next? Fantastic. Um, go on, John. Okay. Uh, this screen, although appearing completely random, had a secret purpose. The towers represented save games data, so the more towers appearing on the screen, the more save data you had. It's pretty cool. I'll John, put my hands I up. I did not know that. I, I did don't not know that. It. <laughs> I, 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 I simply do not believe it. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> it's true. I do. <laughs> PlayStation 2 offered games the op- gamers or the games the option to play online for free with gamers from all around the world. I, I actually never played online on that console once. Did no. any of you play online? No. No. No, no, God, no. I didn't have internet until no. I was like 20 something out in the freaking country here. Like, that, yeah. was the first, that was well past PS2. I'm going to say Xbox 360 was my first experience. Mm, same. Same with me, yeah. Pro Evolution Soccer. First game I ever played online. It was either Xbox 360 or PS3. It could have been COD for me. I could have honestly could have been COD for me. I think I think we played it in Aiden college when I, back in the day. Aiden, let's hear it. Uh, the Sony released a Linux disc, keyboard, and mouse Ethernet adapter and a VGA to allow tech savvy gamers to use the PS2 as an open source PC. Yeah, I think that's pretty class. Like, uh, I, mean, I didn't even yeah. know that until today. No, I didn't yeah, know that. That's, that's what the secret, the, right. the secret compartment in the back of the PS2 was for the hard drive. Yeah, nice. <laughs> what else is it for, Aiden? <laughs> I, I didn't think. I didn't think. Everybody had to oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be honest. You said that today. I was like, I never once hit anything in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> every, all, of my, all of my friends, all of my friends were like, yeah, everyone had things in there. I remember going back to America. <laughs> That's because you've all told each other about it. No one else knew it. I came with a, a set of very explicit playing cards and they got hidden. Perfectly. <laughs> Pat, let's hear the next fact of the PS2. Well, since I don't have the document in front of me, I'm just going to have a guess at it. And I think on the fat PS2, where they have the PlayStation symbol on it, you can switch it around so that it's stationary in the right way when you have it up or sideways. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, a little yeah. tidbit there from Pat. You could do it on the PS3 seen, as well. I seen someone yeah. that made a whole article about that today. I was like, it must be out bad there. If you're making a whole ar- article about the low... Pat, was it you? No, he's right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check out that article, head over it, to the Republic of Players. <laughs> it was... It was it, it was so clickbait. It was like the people didn't know this about the PlayStation 2 and then you click in and it's about the logo turn upside down. It's like that's oh that's groundbreaking. The biggest it's, problem I, is I I, it got it got hey, your I, click path, didn't it? I was gonna say you that's, clicked, didn't you? It's <laughs> very clickbitty. I didn't, I read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're one of those, huh? I want to know. It's like you're reading the comments, I'm not clicking this. Click into my website, but I'm not clicking into yours. I don't care. <laughs> So this was a brilliant part of what kind of Sony did to support that system long after the the PS3 came out. So Sony continued to support PS2 until 2013, even though the PS3 came out in 2006. That is unbelievable. And I remember that, that there was... There was games, you know, FIFA was kind of the big one. You've seen FIFA for PS2 and then FIFA for PS3. Yeah. And there was that, I suppose there was there was two games released. Like everything that came out, it was PS2, PS3. I think as we kind of go through generations, that becomes less and less. Um, and that's a, that's a massive kind of plus for people that yeah. maybe don't have the money to go on to PS3. Because I don't know whether you guys remember, but PS2 cost a whole lot of money. <laughs> yeah, three definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, the three did. It was serious about the money. Yeah. That was but three, it's kind though. of Thank sad God. to think that possibly the last game on the PS2 was FIFA 13, a, a bogged down version of FIFA yeah, 13. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it could have been like a Kiss Pinball game or some other Barbie game. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was FIFA. <clears throat> it was like I'm, FIFA or something like that. I think there's I loads of those oh, celebrity yeah. games that came out after. I remember that yeah, when they came out that they were still making FIFA for the PlayStation so, Two. I remember, I, I remember that news article. Did I hear that right? PS3 was more than the PS2, was it? Well, the PS3 was crazy because they had to include the Blu-ray player. It brought it up to like 500, 600. 640 yeah. euros. Something like that. Yeah. It, was, it was ridiculous. Was the PlayStation 2 not that expensive? No, I, I, I remember no. the PS2 and my mother paying for the PS2. I thought it was something like, like 6, 650, 700. I got yeah, it on release I mean. as well. Yeah, PlayStation 2 was like 650, something like yeah. that. All, all, I remember, all, all I remember was that the price tag of the PS3 at the time was known to be way too high. So I don't know. Maybe people, but I remember that was what killed it because well, it was probably because the, the comparison to the 360 was so much cheaper. But maybe the original PlayStation 2 was that dear. I just can't remember. Like, like the, that's another factor with the PlayStation 2 is the DVD player on it as well. And that was, probably brought up the price of it. Yeah, time. but it was the Blu ray player significantly yeah, brought up with the PlayStation 2. It that's, was that's 299 new. Sorry. 299 new. Was it? Yeah. No, because I remember, I remember it being significant. Dear of the PlayStation 3. I remember people losing their minds about how dear the PS3 is. It could be mixing them up. Oh, you, 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 yeah. Yeah. Be which I think so. I, I, think, I think you are because I remember the controversy was over the price of the PS3. It's one of the contributing factors of why 360 won that generation. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 640 bucks. Well, 360 annoyed the head out of me with that red ring. I swear to God. I only <laughs> ever got one and um, I, got I, I got it fixed. Sorry, I Pat, was... go on. Uh, yeah, just on the note there, um, I actually forget what I was going to say, but I'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, Let's say the, plan, no, the, the PS3 was <laughs> the PS3 was uh, so expensive for a multitude of reasons, not just the Blu-ray player. Like I think it also mm. was very expensive because they had a PS1, a PS2, and then the console True. itself. Okay, so they could yeah, do yeah, the backwards yeah. That makes so sense. So there was so much that was put into it, and also the architecture for the PS3 was very advanced but very difficult but it was Messy. probably very expensive at the same time and my PS3 I, feel, I feel like PlayStation 2 would be saying it's my birthday Pat talk about me don't be talking about PlayStation <laughs> okay, 3 okay PlayStation we're sorry PlayStation 2 we're sorry PlayStation 2 <laughs> sorry PlayStation 2. <laughs> PlayStation 2 is up there he's crying <laughs> he's like why are you doing this Pat <laughs> I'm sorry who's next guys um, I think it was me wasn't it uh, the PlayStation 2 could also play DVDs, which was a bonus for owners of the console, as they could watch movies without having to buy and store a DVD player. That was the PlayStation massive. 2 was it was really the PlayStation 2 was the first gaming console to offer this function. That was a big one. Nice. Yes, it was. Again, something else they tried to emulate with the end the Blu-ray player, but uh, it was a bit tidy, bit too early when they did it for the PS3. Yeah, the Blu-ray never kicked off though. It was too expensive for exactly. the, the yeah, exactly. update that it, that you were getting. And blue, like D- DVDs were like fu- <laughs> Blu-ray never die. Blue. This is the o- this is the only Blu-ray I've ever bought. 
And this is the only one I'll ever need. <laughs> Joe, I swear to God, Joe's the only Blu-ray I ever bought. Uh, your favorite movie, Ronan. What's the the last Star Wars one that came out? Number eight. Uh, I think Poe is his Jedi. favorite movie. The Last Jedi. Yeah, I know. I know you hate that movie. I, I, I did. I, th- I thought it was okay. I don't. I only bought it because um, I, I came across it really cheap. I hadn't seen it, and I wasn't bothered downloading it at the time. We're not friends anymore. Anyway, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> how many? It's, it's the best of the new trilogy. Last Jedi. Yeah. Let's uh, really, just save that I, conversation, I, boys, because I'm not getting into it. Um, I, I, I don't really like any of them. Yes, no, either do I. We'll save it for a yeah. We'll save it for a different. Uh... Okay. So uh, where are we, uh, Aiden? Uh, the design of the PS2 is based on an old Atari computer, the Falcon 030 Microbox, and Sony bought the design patent from Atari when they went bankrupt. I didn't I know that really cool. today. Wow. I did it, not know that. Hmm. It's funny. I, I suppose it's good that they keep the Atari thing a little bit alive. It'd be good if they did something on it. Like I, I suppose they couldn't with the logos or anything, but if they put something on it to let you know that was from them, that'd be pretty cool. Atari <laughs> has a great looking design on their console. Yeah. I think the PlayStation 2, though, is probably the the ugliest of all the PlayStations, to be honest. Uh, play, the, the original PlayStation 3, the big bulky man, he, yeah, he yeah. wasn't great. I, I, I have two of them in my attic. He sounded like a lawnmower trying to take Ooh. off. Uh, I, have about, too much I have about five of them here, and they don't sell. That's, <laughs> they don't buy any. <laughs> don't buy any PlayStation 3s to sell. What about the PS2, I, Paddy? Stop talking yeah, about PS3. I, I, oh, yeah, sorry. You're, you're <laughs> bringing me into it now. I feel like yeah, I'm bullying the PlayStation 2 now. I don't do it. PS2 is lovely looking. I love that console. You like mm-hmm. which console? The tiny PS2, the DVD. Yeah, PS2 yeah, 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 the yeah, small, yeah, yeah. The small one's pretty good. Yeah, I love the, that. But the t- big tick one, I, I don't know. It looks like, I suppose it looks like a, 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 a tower now, doesn't it? Really, a small yeah. tower. Yeah. I think Pass. that's the kind of thing they were going to look for. Yeah. He doesn't have it. Sorry. Um... No, Patrick, so, but you can say it's like what you actually... There's like, like, I put loads of things here. You know, some of the stuff you mentioned that yeah, they're favourite things about the PlayStation 2. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to guess we had backwards compatibility on that. We did. Yeah, of course we did. We yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, with the PS1. Yeah, so, like, that, I think that was, like, the really first console to actually start the sort of completely backwards compatible, so it was. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> like... Like to be... Sorry. Uh, uh, no, 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 we Go do ahead, apologize man. for anyone listening to the MP3. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just I was gonna say that, that uh, the good thing about that is because when you bought the PlayStation 2 and you only probably got a day one with like one or two games, and then you already had a full menu of other games to put on it from the from the PlayStation One, which is great. Yep. The next yeah. one is pretty interesting. Japan faced restrictions exporting the PS2 because of the powerful hardware inside might be used for military purposes. That's pretty cool. Which yeah, I remember that. No, I, I, no, I do remember. It was freaking. It was Saddam Hussein. I remember that news article that they yeah. thought he could. They thought he could build a, a mega computer out of buying a lot of PS2s. I, uh, I actually, I read that today as well about the uh, that it was thought that Saddam Hussein had tons yeah. and tons and tons of PlayStation things, but it yeah, turned yeah. out not to be true. Then yeah, I remember it just being on the news, but it was. Now he just has true. loads of Raspberry PIs or something. <laughs> 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 or and stored <laughs> away. <laughs> Didn't care. <laughs> In his coffin. But yeah, all, he gets play, all, he gets to, all he gets to play now is freaking yeah. Ouya. Yeah, daisies. Else. All he's sticking up is daisies. He's Playing daisies. with the daisies. <laughs> Didn't they do that in the movie uh, Chapo? Was this? Sorry? Chapo. I yeah, remember the, playing that actually. That's a robot movie. Or uh, watching they do it. That? They made a supercomputer out of PS3s. Chappie, is it? Chappie. That's it's the one. Um, Chapo. I was like, this fella is talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Rebellion. The one that, the movie didn't have the Antwerp in it. I never I seen never it. Thought. I never seen it. Yeah. Chappie. Remember the, the, yeah, the middle yeah, the middle supercomputer to PS3s and that. Neil Blomkamp's directed movie. Yeah, the one about the robot and yeah. the South African one. Yeah. I, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I remember that was a really funny aspect of that film. Anytime uh, Bloomcamp is mentioned, I have to mention District 9 because it's one of the greatest oh, yeah. sci-fi movies of all time. Bronze. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Another thing about the PlayStation 2 is unlockables and cheat codes, which is pretty <sighs> awesome. And now yeah. we pay for them. Now we pay for them. Do we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not cheat codes. No, no, we have to pay for them if we want to. Okay. That, the, when we were talking about area, I was thinking of the, uh, remember you're getting printouts from supercheats.com. I don't even know if that site is still going. I must check it to see if it's still going. But that was, that was Game. unbelievable. When the internet was around and you're getting <laughs> big long sheets for GTA and you're getting big helicopters and things dropped on your head, oh, cars yeah. dropped on your head, and 
was aggressive, a- aggressive um, NPCs, whether aggressive um, pedestrians, where they all start yeah, running yeah. around and start fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys problems. ever? Uh, do you guys remember, like back in the booklets, if you went to the very last page, there was a phone number that you could ring up. In I don't remember. But I yeah. never rang him. And... Never rang him. <laughs> like, he didn't have a phone. How... How strange is that? Like, because in those days, you wouldn't have a phone. Just that country. I was allowed to. I was allowed to call that number on Scott's birthday. And it's I got birthday. Che- and I got cheats for Call McRae. <laughs> <laughs> what a game! Yeah, yeah. call it for 100%. your birthday. Um, well, let's go. Let's go. Uh, a man named Dan Holmes was so crazy about his PlayStation Two that he changed his name to Mister PlayStation Two. That's what that means. Yeah, of course. Mr. He, he probably couldn't get away with Mr. PlayStation. He had to put the two yeah, on it. There already was one. Yeah, Did he there already was one. PlayStation to Mrs. PlayStation 2? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I'd like to actually meet this man. Maybe we can get... We sh- that would be an awesome thing to do. We track this man down. We get him track on the show. him down. <laughs> and we get him on the podcast. And we have a meeting with him. And we'll have a... Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> kind of moment. That'd be unreal. I, I would let's do it. Let's do it. Let's in hindsight, he probably dead. Like, when well, the PlayStation 2 is That's now out of get... fashion, does he go to be just like, oh, I probably should call myself like PlayStation, yeah, Mr. X. PlayStation, PlayStation, yeah? We could just pret- we could get someone to pretend that they're 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 him. Like, who's no, no one's gonna believe it? Like, <laughs> you're just gonna pretend that Mr. PlayStation's on next. I week could, I, I, I could Superman it if I, I, you know, that's one of my super, my Superman. If I put on glasses, I look like a completely different person, yeah, it not me, yeah. yeah? Like Clark Kent. I'll do this it. is something your parents tell you. Oh, you're gone, John. <laughs> I, I'm John, invisible, Danny. <laughs> I'm invisible. You're not here, John. They, they can't see me. <laughs> Call me Mr. PlayStation. <laughs> Call me Mr. PlayStation 2. I'm like the mighty Dan win. Holmes. <laughs> In. Sorry, I was looking up Dan Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he's all the rage. You he's got his email that. address. I don't believe it. So yeah, uh, still being able to get demo discs for the magazine. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah. And like the mag- yeah, magazines were just better back then. Awesome. They were fantastic. I yeah. had a full collection of them. Same. Yeah. The I official Irish magazine. PlayStation. Do you yeah. remember, anyone remember the official Irish PlayStation? OIP. I had, um, I did, I had, yeah. every, I had every issue. Yeah, yeah, same. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and Game game Radar. And, yeah, Game uh, Radar. Just, ga- just Game. Do you remember Game yeah. TM? Yeah, they were fantastic and, magazines. And I used I to get them. Ed's then for years after that. Mm. Edge is a brilliant magazine. It was just the internet before the internet, really. It was reading articles. Yeah. It really was. My friend got one printed in at one time. I still oh, have oh, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, got, I, I, I got a letter printed in one. Uh, it was from a story where basically I went to, I think it was San Andreas came out, and uh, I got a copy, and we somehow wrecked it, got scratched all up. And uh, I went to Extra Vision, and I, I rented <laughs> Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> And I swapped the discs, and I gave them back my shitty disc, and uh, I, wrote a le- I wrote a letter about that, and I got it in the magazine. They were like, "Well, we don't, we, we don't, we don't like the way you've done that, but uh, at least it shows well, your appreciation blade, yeah. for the game." Yeah, okay, exactly. Fair did fair you blade. get? Did you get it published? Yeah, it was on the magazine. Like that. That's that singly, uh, single handed took down extra vision. How do you feel? I that? did. And after that, single then it's all, all down Every after week that. he was in there. Every week with Mr. PlayStation, him and Mr. PlayStation went down and we took extra vision. Good old Daddy Holmes. <laughs> right in there, swindling the place. That magazine allowed you to knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best thing. I think everyone can agree. The best thing about the PlayStation Two was the games. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I think you have yeah. to you have to give it to them. They released some. So let's let's games. do a round table here. So let's do top three favorite games, starting yeah. with Paddy. Well, it's it's always like Grand Theft Auto's games. That's like it, it always comes back to that because they were like they were. I loved them. The Grand Theft Auto Three and San Andreas were like some of the best games at the time that I've ever played and they'll always come to it San Andreas I know it's, it's a top selling game for a reason yeah, because it was unbelievable and which Tony Hawks was on it was the Underground was on that that was yeah. an unbelievable game as well I loved that game for Hold like up. the story from jumping to Tony Hawks 2 to Underground it was a completely different thing and it they, it was un, like you became like at the time I was skateboarding and stuff like that as well so it was great that you became tried to become a pro in the game them games were Unreal, and they did a great job at PlayStation Two, and that's what yeah. they. Every console should just focus on the games. Even the 
even the arguments all week about the powerfulness of the Xbox X or the next Xbox. What's the next Xbox called? Series X. Called, Series, 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 Series X. Series X. And yeah. then everyone's talking about this. I don't care what's in the game. In them, bring out all I care about is the games, and that's what yeah. everyone should be focused on. Mm. Big time. Mm -hmm. uh, you you forgot to mention another one, Paddy. I know you really enjoyed it. Was that well, SSX tricky? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. The, the soundtrack to that game was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And just to jump it in, and you were so excited to play it. When you're playing, the music really brought you into it. Big time. And that's very. Yeah, I did forget about that game. That is probably that's one of my favorites as well. Yeah. John. Uh, it's actually. If, uh, I, when, you, when you asked the question I was kind of like God it's going to take me a while but I actually had the three I think nearly immediately so I would say number three uh, Final Fantasy uh, fantastic game that was that was PS2 that, that had to be PS2 right it, it, it must have been Final which Fantasy one Final Fantasy X oh yeah yeah, yeah. 10, yeah, was, 10, well, yeah. 10 was PS2 yeah yeah, I just the, the the battle system in that uh, I loved it. The story was fine. I just I just really loved the battle system um, in the game. It's my favorite of any Final Fantasy game, uh, and just loved the game to pieces. Then number two would be uh, Resident Evil Four, just phenomenal game. Uh, just yeah, it's it, it's it's cool. unfortunate that my number one is there. It would be an easy number one other than this game. Uh, just I hadn't played that and like it before at the time. Just the over the shoulder camera. Uh, the way of aiming at the time was just, it, it was all new to me. I was like, oh, this, of course, this makes sense. And, the survival uh, element. Yeah, the story. Bar the, the escort missions for Ashley, they could have been, a, they could be a bit annoying. But other than that, it's an almost flawless game. And then number one, of course, it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I mean, all you need to do is listen to that freaking music. <laughs> Snake Eater. Yeah, That's all what you a need. tune. Leave it. But it's it's the it's literally one of my favorite games of all time. The camo system, it was so it was such a step up from two, and I really like two as well. But like just just the camo system, the just the story, uh, the fact that you were big boss, the over the top boss fights, the double the triple cross, especially with Ocelot, the four the quadruple crossing, we'll call it. He double crosses, he triple crosses, he quadruple crosses. Nobody knows who Ocelot's working for. Just <laughs> everybody at all times. Phenomenal. I, I was tricking the Americans by working for the Russians, but I was actually working for the Turks. <laughs> oh, Asala, what are you like? <laughs> but, um, that's, that's such a good game. They're my three anyway, for sure. Awesome. Aiden? Uh, oh, God. Uh, me, and, uh, me and John's top three were incredibly similar. I'll change up slightly. Cool. Uh, Resident Evil 4, I'm sticking with because that is one of my favorite games of all time. I love it so much. I, I'm going to say Metal Solid 2 because that's the one I rather more. Uh, I still to this day think that's one of the greatest achievements of trolling that any developer yeah. has ever done. 100%. That is, I respect uh, it for that so much. Yeah, what what I realized what he was like, we are writing, we are the people that yeah. want to be Snake. I think that is a genius thing of doing. We're playing a um, tutorial that was designed for a super soldier <laughs> as yeah. uh, as a super soldier going through a tutorial. Yeah, it was yes. fast. And, and nobody and, knew he existed until the game came out. No, and I remember yeah. coming out going, Is Snake's dead in the first 20 minutes? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just, <they're>... Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> came out in 2002. Hey, hey, spoilers, I'm calling it. <laughs> uh, and uh, I was going to say Final Fantasy X, but I'll go with Dragon Quest Eight because I think that's mm, the nice. best GRPG on the system. Uh, that nice. game is one of the most... Uh, charming and delightful games you'll play while also being incredibly difficult. Nice. Awesome. Never played Dragon Quest games. Never played them. But I, I, uh, I've heard they're good. I've heard they're good. If you want like a nice warm hug of a game. Uh, I do actually. That's, <laughs> Dragon Quest games are that. I they needed that today. I needed that. 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 I needed well, this this is a very hard question. Um, I'm honestly like you could ask me this tomorrow, and it'd be three completely different games. But just uh, from what I have in my head now at the moment, that uh, number three, I'd say Gran Turismo Four. There has been no other racing game really that sort of blended the sort of simulation of real driving and arcade racing together. Just came together perfectly for me. But also on the license. <laughs> I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> on the licenses for Gran Turismo 4, do you guys remember what happened when you failed the license? I can't remember no. that game. Man. I really played Gran Turismo. No, fail, no. They played the Duffman song, you know. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> the most oh, infuriating yeah. thing to have play when you fail. It's like saying, yeah, you're not good enough. <laughs> Screw you. One thing that game definitely did for me is it made me not give up. Even if it was just to get the bronze, I made sure I got all of those licenses. Or made my brother do it. One <laughs> <laughs> Slip that in there. <laughs> but um, number two, I'd say Ratch and Clank to go in Commando. Um, I've it's still my favorite series out there. It's uh, it's just so much fun. The writing in it is witty. It was such a big expansion upon Ratch and Clank for the PS2 as well. And I just I still love that series to this day. I hope they continue the series from the future series rather than remaking two like they did with the ratchet and clank for 2016 on ps4 and uh number one on my list would have to be tekken 5. um out of all the tekken games i think that is the best tekken there is out there and i have such fond memories with it it was sort of like the last game i played with my brothers before they started distancing themselves away from gaming it's one of the very few games I've been able to actually make my dad sit down and play with me. Uh, and then he somehow managed to absolutely whoop my ass when the man <laughs> nice. never plays video Cheat games. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's like my favorite fighting game. And it's just, it's tied to me integrally on so many memories with my family and friends and on so nice. many levels. Well, it sold six million copies. You're happy, you're happy. You know, I had that, that right in front of me. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> what about you, Ro? Top three. Yeah, so top three. Um, like past, this could change any day of the week. But I do have three games that, for me, I probably played uh, more than any game on the system. Uh, number number three will go at first it has to be silent hill 2 i think personally that's my yeah. favorite horror game of all time um i remember playing that game and just just being engrossed by everything that was happening uh, i thought pyramid head was one of the best baddies you've ever come across he just invokes fear every time you meet him you're like crap there he is again now he's chasing me down the corridor it was just amazing like that game touched on a lot of topics that never really got touched on before in terms of um you know mental illness and and uh you know really kind of deep topics and still you just got through the game and it just felt amazing to actually finish it and get through it the story was personal on a level that I, I can't really remember that kind of personal story done before so well in a horror game setting. Um, like I said, I've been playing Resident Evil 2 and it reminds me of, you know, those type of games, those survival horror games. I don't think any game has done it better than, than Silent Hill 2. Um, number two, we talked about it last week. It has to be Grand, uh, Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I mean, that game, I put mm. so many hours into that. Like, it was, yeah. it came out at a time where I was massive into gangster rap. Um, I was literally in that game. You know, I, like, I used to just cycle around uh, the Grove just thinking I was a gangster. Like, that, I got so into oh, yeah. that game. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, it was a great game. The characters were fantastic. The way it starts and you just have that bicycle and you're running from the cops. It's just the absolutely. RP, the RPG element. Yeah, yeah. There you go. The RPG the element. Going to the gym yeah. or... Going uh, to the the chipper getting food getting yeah, fat, yeah yeah getting there you go um that was kind of one of the first things i've ever seen in that game like that was that's the way i loved it um do a full podcast on san andreas let's do that well you could yeah <laughs> you could and uh the number one game because i just i love it to this day um it's been said already is metal gear solid snake eater oh, i think baby when, when that game was coming out when i seen like trailers for it, i was like this is never going to live up to the trailers I was like, how are they going to get the survival elements in? How are they going to change what I like? I did love uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, but how are they going to change it from that setting into a jungle setting that yeah. looked like a Rambo game? And they did it just perfectly. The soundtrack is amazing. My best moment, I think, ever in gaming is the fight against the end. Um, oh, maybe yes. it was just the way it played Fantastic. out, but it was just... I was looking for him for ages and he was picking at me, picking shots at me like for, for ages, I remember. And I was running through the map and I couldn't see him at all. 
And next minute I just said, right, I'll hunker down here and I'll hide. And I was kind of looking across the horizon and I seen the flash of his, um, the, the glare of his scope. And he was like literally the other side of the map. And I just one shot, headshot, and that was him. He was dead. And I just remember thinking, this is, this is, <laughs> gaming doesn't get any better than this. It's um, awesome, yeah. And just the whole way through that game, I loved it. I loved the story. I think... I don't think Grand or uh, Metal Gear Solid has been as good or ever is going to be as good as that game again. Um, like even though I loved the rest of the series, I even loved Five. I don't think it's ever hit the peak that uh, that Snake Eater has has hit. Um, so yeah, that is Who our. Who favorite... doesn't love Five? I, I, I honestly like. There's been a I couple of gripes so. with Five. No, I, I I like five, but I I, I don't like uh, how they ended the like uh, the fact that Kojima didn't get enough time. I know it's not his fault, but the yeah. fact that it doesn't really have much of an ending. Um, I like five has problems, but I think five is one of the best open worlds. It's gameplay, ever been gameplay, made in the game. gameplay wise, it's fantastic. It's one of the best games I've ever played. I'm not even yeah. joking. It's just the story disappoint. As, as a lifelong Metal Gear Solid fan, the story oh, yeah. disappointed yeah. me a little bit. Yeah, I I enjoyed playing it. I thought the world was very kind of empty. If that. And, and and that's coming from someone that, that was playing open world games leading up to that, like The Witcher and, and other kind of mm. games like that. And then you jump into Metal Gear Solid Five, and it was like, this open world seems like I don't really want to be in it. I just want to be what? at the, the main you kind of put, hubs, like the, the base. You put and balloons. And I know. It's a great game. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a great game, but it's. I just think Snake Eater was, was no, the, the pinnacle of the series. Oh, 100%. That's nearly one of my favorite games I... of all time as well, Snake Eater. I will agree that it's yeah, it's not as good, but I just I, I I think most people tend to like that game, even though it has story problems. <clears throat> no, I like it. I do like five. It's just yeah. that story it, it brings it down a lot because of the story problems. Right, guys, we have gone to nearly our longest show ever, and I think if any show ever deserved it, it was the one on the PS2, exactly. the birthday, the twentieth birthday of the PS2. What a console! I mean, it's just so many memories when you think of that that console, and like all week I've been, you know, writing to you guys and writing to my friends, and we're talking about the games that we used to play <laughs> whoa, whoa, and. Whoa. Writing to my other <laughs> friends. <laughs> oh, I'll skip over that era. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> you guys are my friends. <laughs> yeah, wait. Screw it. When you're trying to get sentimental and you do something like that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry. I always uh, call you. I always call you. <laughs> you uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gone now. I'm gone. Uh, so sorry, I'm sorry. It'll we got a uh, Jack Doyle mentioned another great game, Star Wars Battlefield or Battlefront Two, which was a fantastic mm. game on on PS2. Yeah, nice. Modern um, Warfare Two, is it? What's that? Modern Warfare Two, he said. Uh, Jack Doyle said Star Wars Battlefront Two. We got uh, Modern Warfare Two, Jack Doyle as well, oh, yeah. and then. Oh yeah, that's the only one I've seen. Sorry, my, Sh- my comments are messy. Shame is because he dropped a few, um, a, well, a few, a, few, a, lo- a lot of coins, <laughs> a lot of a lot of stars. Well, he says Metal Gear Solid stars, Three, um, Final Fantasy X, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So absolutely amazing, amazing games. And like we said, the games is what's important on these systems and mm-hmm. will be important going into the new generation, um, not the hardware, as Paddy kind of pointed out. So guys, we are gonna get out of here. John, tell the good folks where they can find you. And the good folks can find me at Too Old for Gaming. That's T O O O L D for Gaming. And you can find me there on uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything that I uh, most of the social media. If you look for Too Old for Gaming, you'll find me there. I'm also re- releasing content, of course, with the Republic. Uh, there should be a Final Fantasy Five Fantasy tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah. So they should be looking forward to that, and there'll be more Dark Souls uh, randomizer coming as well on the Republic. Sweet, looking nice. forward to that. Aiden, where yeah. can the good folks find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter uh, at AidsMC. I'm, uh, and if you want to, if, <laughs> if you want to hear me talking about anime with other, please change Owen, that name. <laughs> show, <laughs> I can't, you can't change the base name, unfortunately. <laughs> I've had it for so long now. Uh, Nobody yeah. wants to go to that site. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> That's the team for me. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm if if you want to hear me talk about anime, my other podcast is the show Owen podcast. Hit S H O W O W E N E N. Also on Twitter with that. Nice. Pat, where can the good folks find you? 
Well, if he's want to find me, not sure why he's would, but uh, I'm over on Twitter under the name of Pack on Mad with an R at the end because Twitter only allows so many characters. And I am on the Republican Players YouTube most of the time, just putting content out there. And you can find me on the community page for the Republican Players on Facebook. Sweet, Pat. And our glorious leader in the middle. Where can the good folks find you? Oh, in heaven. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, that's more oh. like it. That's more like down below. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can find me on the Republican Players community or on the main page. If you just send a message to it, to get back to you. Or Paddy T at the Republican Players. Um, I don't know how much I'll be streaming this week. Hopefully, he's streaming a little bit of Tarkov, maybe or something. Um, thanks for watching the show, and see you next week. Yeah, and again, if you have any um, opinions that you think we should add to the show or take away, please let us know. Um, drop us a, a message. I am over on the Alpha Fox on Facebook, and I've started to stream back on Twitch a little bit as well. Um, I realize that there is a small community of people over there that watch my streams that don't come over to Facebook. So I'm going to try and split the two a little bit. Um, so it's the Alpha Fox on uh, Facebook and Twitch. Also check out the Instagram, the Alpha Fox, and I am usually around the community dropping some comments and we're going to be adding a lot more to uh, the story function on the Republic of Players main page. So look out for more stuff over on the main page on the Republic of Players. If you haven't liked or followed both of the both the main page, the Republic of Players and the Republic of Players community, please go over and do that. This has been Tropcast episode 54. My name is Ronan Fox from Paddy, John, Aiden, and Pat. We'll see you next time. It'll be the same time again next Thursday, and we'll see you then. Goodbye. What is happening, everyone? Ronan here from the Republic Players, and I don't know.